Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I would love to talk about sunscreens and how to protect your skin from the sun during this uh, very high season, summer. And uh, I know that there is many myths and prejudice about how to protect your skin with sunscreen and SPF factors. And uh, I've been there. I know myself, it can be very confusing what these numbers mean, uh, how to really protect your skin from the sun without clogging pores and without breakouts. So if you want to know real facts about sunscreens and how to protect your skin from the sun, then watch till the end. In this video, you will find a lot of valuable information. So, for those who don't know me yet, my name is Eugenia and I run a blog on Instagram called Echo Journal. And uh, this platform, YouTube, I use for my more educational videos. Okay, let's begin. All right, in this video, we'll talk first about some really valuable tips you should use in your everyday routine when it's sun out there, whether it's summer in the part of the globe you live in, or maybe you live in Florida, let's say, where sun is very active throughout the year. So this video is just for you. And believe me, after you learn all this amazing information, you won't have questions anymore about what is true, what is not, what to believe. It's all here in this video. And in the second part of this video, we'll talk about pigmentation and how to avoid it. All right, um, first you have to understand that there is three main pillars in terms of how to protect your skin from the sun. And first one is that you have to basically understand what kind of skin type do you have and depending on the skin type you know how much time you can stay under the sun without getting burned um, here somewhere on the screen you will see main uh, skin types that you have to identify yourself with and then you will actually understand more how much time you can spend other, under the sun without getting burned and then it will give you the idea how intensively you should protect your skin okay the second pillar and this information actually just a few people know i wonder why mm, but actually it's not uh, a real surprise for me because these companies that are producing sunscreens they tend to be a little silent about this and this is uv index now what is uv index it's basically index that is shown how active sun is in the area you live so this means that every day this index is changing and there are a few websites where you can check it i will list one of them down below um, in the description of this video so what you should do and i highly recommend you to do this is to check uv index every single day now why is it important first you'll get the idea how active the sun is and with this knowledge you can plan strategically how to apply your sunscreen uh, now in the website i will list below it will be an explanation what each number means but basically before number four you don't even have to apply sunscreen now here is a little note here if you have a lot of pigmentation doesn't matter what causes pigmentation this rule might not apply to you but if you are not prone to pigmentation or 
you don't have melasma or other skin problems, then you can skip SPF on the days when the sun is less active, even though it's summertime. The third pillar, and here I know everyone knows it's a common knowledge, it's written on every sunscreen you will get, you should reapply sunscreen every two hours. And this is true, guys, you have to, because after some time, your active ingredients in the sunscreen you have are starting wearing off and it means that basically the sunscreen you applied in the morning won't work in the midday. And this is important because sometimes people say, all right, this SPF was not enough the sun was too active or this sunscreen was not good enough. It might not be true because probably it was you who forgot to reapply SPF sunscreen during the day. Think about it. Challenging to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. It's not really convenient, your skin will become more greasy, and if you wear makeup, then it's a completely different story. It basically makes almost impossible to reapply SPF because it will ruin your makeup. The best tip you will ever, ever have, believe me, is that to reapply your SPF factor with mineral powder. Guys, believe me, it's life-changing basically once you use mineral powder to reapply your sunscreen protection it will change your life it will clog your pores much less than it would with uh, sunscreen and uh, it doesn't build up on your skin it means at the end of the day you won't stay with this basically mask of makeup this is the huge advantage of mineral powder that it doesn't build up it protects uh, your skin from sun damage as good as any sunscreen believe me and it's so easy to reapply during the day all right there are couple of more things I want to share with you. Guys, believe me, you don't have to wear sunscreen every day. I know it's shocking, but it's true, as I said. Why it is so? Let me explain to you. Well, first of all, if you don't go out and if you don't plan to stay outside more than 20 minutes, 30 minutes, then there is basically no need to apply sunscreen. Yes, I know all the manufacturers and uh, brands of sunscreens are telling you, no, you have to actually wear it every day. But why are they telling you so? Think about it. Because they are basically producing this product and uh, they have to sell. They have to sell and this explains a lot. Why it's okay to skip SPF when uh, you're staying inside? Well, of course, sun rays, they come through the window. This enhances the chances of getting pigmentation, but it's not <laughs> always the case. And um, in this video, I would love to talk with you about three other reasons why people are getting this pigmentation. Now, these three alternative reasons are not maybe so obvious to you, but that's why I decided to make this video because I found out speaking with lots of people that they don't always realize the main reasons why they have pigmentation. And reason number one here is blue light. Now, blue light is a pretty new thing because it's just recently that people are starting to talk about pigmentation and alternative reasons, what may cause pigmentation, and research had found out that blue light that we get from our laptops, um, smartphones or tablets, 
is causing pigmentation. And this is a tricky one because even if you wear sunscreen, the blue light gets so deep into your skin, even deeper than UVA rays. Uh, it means that normal, usual sunscreens won't unfortunately protect you from the blue light and you have to find alternative products. There are quite a few actually that you should use basically yes on everyday basis moving on and this is a second reason why people get pigmentation is inflammations in your body what does it mean it means if you have some problems with either digestive system or pigmentation and it's actually just recently been found out that if this pigmentation is caused by inflammations in your body, uh, let's say, yes, uh, your stomach uh, has some problems, you have some problems with your stomach, then once you cure these problems, your pigmentation will go away. Yay! Good news! So, yes, my advice is please go to your doctor and if you have lots of pigmentation that is not caused by hormones or active sun then yes run some tests maybe you do have some slight problems with your digestive systems it means that, that once you cure your problems pigmentation most likely to go away completely the third reason and i just mentioned it it's hormonal problems yes and this is a tricky one because it's quite difficult to treat and then you really have to find a very very good specialist um, because yeah sometimes it's a problem to find a very good doctor that will help you with your hormonal problems and um, in this case yes it's a little bit challenging we all know that melasma is caused by hormonal disruptions so yeah um, another thing to think about is when you use oral contraceptives yes it may also add to the factor of pigmentation and in this case you have to be very very careful with protecting your skin from sun damage all right guys this is it i hope it was very useful to you and you learned some new things maybe you will rethink your everyday routine and uh, maybe it will help you to understand why do you have this pigmentation that uh, you have on your body and if you like this information please like and subscribe because on this channel i will share much more not so obvious tips and tricks and information with you so you will be aware actually what is going on in cosmetic industry what products are safe what are not so much and uh, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.